All right, so I found a way to have interchangeable wheels on an original Hobie cart. Now the cart that I originally bought was the cart that had the sand tires on it because I do go through a lot of sand, but I also run it on a lot of hard ground also. And these tires absolutely suck on hard ground. Now Hobie makes these things to where you can't just go out and buy the rubber wheels and swap out the sand tires to the rubber wheels. They make it to where you actually have to buy two separate carts, which these things aren't cheap. They're like, I don't know exactly, but like 120, 150 bucks, something like that. So, uh, you know, that money could, could go towards something else. So basically, I'll just go over a quick supply list and you're going to need two of everything I'm going to show you. Uh, excuse how dirty this thing is. I uh, tested this thing out in my backyard. And my backyard is like nothing but mud right now and it worked really good so anyway this is a steel wheel that just has a rubber tire no air at all I think it's nine inches tall something like that um, it does have a half inch hub right here and it does have a bearing in there which the bearing doesn't really matter um, you're gonna need a half inch piece of PVC pipe this is gonna be your spacer and you're going to need a hitch pin, which the size of this is 0 .093. That's the thickness, and the length that I'm using is 2.5. If you get anything bigger than 0 .093, it's not going to work. And you're also going to need uh, four half-inch washers. So I'll go ahead and uh, put this on. Now, these sand tires, they actually have a hub right here that you twist and you pull off and there's a groove right here at the end of the axle on the Hobie cart and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but there's an actually there's actually a metal pin inside of this wheel which I'll go ahead and snap it back on and once I lift this up you'll hear the pin fall into place so yeah it clicks right in there and uh, that's basically what you're gonna do here you're just gonna put a spacer on put a washer Put your wheel, put another washer, and you're going to use a hitch pin to slip it right inside of the uh, the groove. And there you go. Now you got a cart that you can have the hard rubber wheels, and when you don't need these, you can break out your sand tires and uh, throw those on instead. So unfortunately, this is only going to work with the cart that has the sand tires because the cart that has the hard rubber wheels actually has a pin that goes right through the center of this axle it doesn't have like a groove right here and uh, correct me if I'm wrong I haven't seen one of those carts in a while but I'm almost positive this is only going to work with the cart that has the sand tires and the wheel that I'm using is actually it's just a steel wheel I think it's rated to like 80 pounds something like that a piece so 160 pounds I'm not going to exceed that and they also have a di uh, an offset diameter right here to where it's got like a little hump on each side which it makes it a lot easier to uh, slip this pin in because if this hump wasn't here I would actually have to go inside of the wheel to put this pin in so um, just another tip if anyone out there is going to do this. So, just a quick video. Um, hope this helps anyone out who does not want to go out and buy two separate carts because, you know, that money could go towards uh, fish finder, gear, fishing rods, whatever. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Any questions, just ask, and I will see you guys on the next one.